Hey guys, how's it going? Jeff Perrin, Bass and Axe Fishing. A um, little downtime now, given the uh, current situation uh, with the coronavirus and COVID-19. So what better way to kill some time than uh, add a little more video content for uh, some bass fishing? Um, me, primarily, uh, I do a lot of co-angling. Um, so what I've, what I've noticed on the lack of YouTube is, uh, on YouTube, is the lack of co-angler content and and how i can kind of show my perspective and how i prepare for um co-angling tournaments and such like that um i do some traveling um i actually just got back from grand lake a few weeks ago fishing the tbf national championship um so i just like to show people how i prepare how i get ready and uh, how i tackle uh, each tournament, tournament by tournament, you know, they're all a little bit different. The water's a little bit different. Tactics are a little bit different. So, uh, taking that time being prepared and organized is, uh, is huge for me. Um, uh, as you can kind of see over my shoulder a little bit in my, uh, little bass cave. Um, uh, I just like to be prepared. I like to be organized. And, uh, in a few minutes here, I'll give you guys a full rundown of, uh, of what that is for me and, and how I go about doing it. So like I previously mentioned, um, for me, organization is everything. Um, being able to come down here and, and grab what I need to do what I need to do that day or that tournament is, is, is very important for me. It just, it keeps me organized, keeps me in a good state of mind. And, uh, I just feel like I'm more effective. I have less downtime on the water and I can, I can do what I need to do to be successful. Uh, again, it's, it's everything from, you know, let me flip the camera for you guys. So, you, so as you can see, I mean, I break it down. Some of it's by brands. Some of it's by, it's, it's kind of, it's all by brands and tactics. I mean, you got some Ned baits and a lot of drop shot. Got to have the Senkos. Um, my rods, I've I found these rod racks on Amazon actually, uh, and to take up less room. I mounted them on the ceiling. Um, it works for me, you know. It 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 keeps me organized, keeps me in a good state of mind, and uh, makes me efficient. Uh, tackle equipment. I use these bins down here uh, for when I'm packing for trips. Uh, I organize everything in the bins, uh, usually by tactic, um, not necessarily by brand. Uh, I'll throw a drop shot bin together or a Senko bin together, swim bait bin together, whatever I need to do for that tournament. Uh, and same with all my storage bins. Um, labeling, uh, there's a few I actually have to do. Uh, ha added a few things for Grand Lake and I just haven't gotten to adding some labels. But i got to create some more labels and um, just... Being able to grab what I need and go is uh, is so key to me. Uh, like I said, if 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 I'm in utter chaos when I go to prepare and I'm not organized, it just gets me in a bad mindset. Um, if tournament day I'm ready to go and I just grab my backpack and and I can go fishing, then I don't have to worry about where everything's at. I know where everything's at. I know where I put everything. Everything goes in the same spot every time. And uh, it just it just makes me efficient, you know. So currently, uh, given the status of everything going on in the economy, who knows what's going to happen with fishing tournaments. Uh, my mindset is to prepare for the TBF All-American on Lake Hartwell, uh, the end of April, beginning of May. Um, so that's what I'm doing now as I, I'm getting my rods, I'm getting my tackle ready, placed a few orders, got some stuff in for a couple different techniques, uh, tactics I'm going to do down there. Um, the, I, I don't know if it's a blessing or kind of a curse. Uh, currently the FLW pros are scheduled to be there. Uh, I believe it's the 23rd to the 26th on Hartwell. And then we have our official practice day, the 28th, and then three days of tournament after that. So I, I think watching that live of the FLW pros will help kind of dissect where I need to be and, and what we most likely will be doing on that water. 
Um, so that could help. It could hurt. Could be a lot of pressure. Um, I guess we'll just see after plays how it all plays out. But again, also, who knows if we're even going to South Carolina and fishing Hartwell right now. Uh, a lot of tournaments have been postponed, canceled. Um, a lot of, a lot of local uh, federations are making adjustments as needed uh, to get through this uh, situation we're currently in. So, like I, like I said, this is my form of social distancing. Uh, I'm down here working on my tackle and prepping. Um, I'll give you guys uh, in the next video a little rundown on on what I do to pack for a trip uh like Hartwell coming up and uh how I go about doing it. Um so thanks for watching. Uh stay tuned. Uh and if you're looking for some coing or content, please feel free to shoot me an email or post a message. Um uh, and I'll and I'll see what I can do to give you my perspective on on co-angling and, and how we tackle things. Thanks.